Hello everyone, my name is Debashish and I welcome you all to this video. So in this video, I am going to show you the, the very basics of you know binary diffing that you can perform with IDA Pro. So if you are already not familiar with binary diffing, so let me quickly explain what binary diffing is. Uh, so you might have uh, already heard of the term source code diffing. So source code diffing is uh, basically a process using which you can actually find out the difference between uh, two set of source code. For example, what all lines were changed, what all you know lines were added, what all things were del deleted uh, in between uh, two version of you know any project or source code. So a typical uh, by, uh, source code diffing output will look something like this, as you can see you know uh, in this particular example. Mm, yeah, uh, some of these lines are deleted from here. Some of the lines were added here. So this is how usually you know. Uh, source code diff look like looks like uh, so what is binary diffing then actually binary diffing is when you uh, binary diffing is uh, is the process using which you actually try to find out difference between two programs when you don't have actually access to the source code you basically have to you know understand the difference between two binaries so for example if you have a, a program uh, of version 1.2.0 and if you have a uh, if you have the next version of this program which is 1.2.1 and if you want to find out uh, without the source code that what all functionalities were added in version 1.2.1 and what all functionalities were removed uh, so basically what you have to do is uh, you have to do binary diffing to understand what all functionalities were added and you know what all changes were basically made to uh, from version 1.2.0 to 1.2.1 uh, so this is quite useful useful practice to find out one day vulnerabilities so one day vulnerabilities are which are not actually zero days for example uh, any vendor uh, when already has released uh, some patch for any vulnerability uh, but you want to figure out uh, you know what type of vulnerability the vendor has fixed so for that actually you have to do you know uh, binary diffing to kind of understand you know Mm, you know what all changes were made to you know add that security fix in in that uh, program so okay uh, so i'm i'm not going to show you any real example in that uh, so since this is the very first video uh, i'm going to you know create a dummy application and you know and kind of show you how to you know you do binary perform binary thing using ida pro uh, so let's get started. The tool I'm going to use today uh, in today's video is uh, Ida Pro V version, and uh, I'm going to use uh, Zynamics Bindif uh, free version. And I, I guess uh, the only uh, version that is available is free version only. So you can download it from uh, this uh, Bindif Bindif soft Bindif download. If you go to this, uh, here you go. As you can see, you have you know all this windy version available. You have to click on this to you know get if you are using it on Windows. So that, that's how you get uh, the Bindif software. Once you have it, you need Java for that. Uh, so you need to install Java as well. Uh, so okay, let's get started. Uh, so I'm going to first open my Visual Studio and you know create a very tiny dummy application. Uh, and um, so let's go for. C++ empty project next sample one sample dot create okay we have this now we'll just add a file here main dot c main dot c let's start writing our code uh, hash include windows dot h main <coughs> pardon return zero let's write a loop here you know int i equals to zero i is an equal to 10 i plus plus let's try to print something printf hello there let's try to compile it oh okay 
hdio.h okay so we have it so instead of debug i'm going to use release and let's go for the 64 bit one uh, rebuild yeah we have it here and let's go to uh, c colon backslash user debashish source repos sample 64 release if you just try to ex if let's try to execute it sample.exe uh, okay let's make it a bit more cleaner rebuild solution and as you can see the program is working as intended so now what you're going to do uh, we're going to keep this file here and uh, just you know let's call it version 1 sample dot version 1 dot exe and let's make some modification in this file uh, okay in this code if i equal to equal to 5 printf i am done with my life and we are going to return 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 zero so let's rebuild this one as well uh, and let's try to execute it as you can see after printing it five times it says i'm done with my line life and you know uh, it exits now let's uh, now this is our version 2 with this you know additional check if i equals to 5 mm -hmm. so let's call it sample v2 and now let's uh, so now uh, for a time being just assume that suppose we don't have access to the source code and you have this to you know version of the sample.exe file how do you find out you know what all changes are being made in version 2 so uh, let's copy it on in our vm uh, let's you know paste it in this folder and this is our sample v1 you know let's try to open it in ida pro Uh, we are not going to get any symbol for this so let's say no and as you can see we are in our main function uh, so we don't need anything from this right now uh, we can what you can do we can just simply you know uh, save it and close it uh, so what we need from here is uh, this sample underscore v1 dot i64 file and we have to do the same thing for the v2 as well so let's do it uh, let's do no and we have it here let's save it close it yeah now we have uh, this sample v1 dot i64 and sample v2 dot i64 so basically we are going to use the tool uh, xenomix bindiv and we are going to feed these two files to our uh, bindiv software so let's see how it you know how to do that so for that you have to go to your uh, root directory Go to program files go to bin diff and you have bin and after that you should see a file bin diff.jar you need to just double click on it uh, as i have already said uh, you need actually java installed uh, in on your system to be able to run this particular tool so uh, the ui looks something like this so what you have to do here go to new file new workspace uh, just give it a name just sample diff something like that uh, and do ok and after that you have to do go to diffs and new diff and now uh, this is what you have to do you have to select two idb files here idb means the file that you have created here right uh, this two 
these two files i64 and v1 and v2 so it's, uh, you have to select this primary idv file uh, go to that folder where you have kept those files go to desktop bin and select the version one first and after that select the secondary one as well and now you have to do just this button diff cancel uh, please oh okay uh, you have to do one more thing i believe you need to select this path in your you know process hacker this path was not set actually properties this is the thing you need just uh, okay settings main settings either directory mm. either directory you have to select program files ida freeware 7.0 okay now let's try it uh, new diff sample 1 sample 2 ah now it is working okay it's it's going to take some time and this is not, this is a tiny application so uh, should not take very long but yeah if you are diffing a very big application huge application it's going to take uh, quite a lot of time so you have to you know give it some time so the gui version of bindiff did not work properly so uh, i thought of you know showing you the other way you can use bindiff uh, to you know perform binary diffing on two binaries uh, so once you install bindiff on your uh, windows system alongside idea pro uh, under file menu you sh a new uh, option should appear which is you know div database uh, so i'm going to show you how to use that to perform binary diffing uh, so here i have opened the version one of sample binary as you can see sample v1.i64 and I'll have to compare this particular IDA database with uh, the database generated from version 2 binary so I'll go to file I'll click on div database and now it is giving me an option to uh, select the the IDB of uh, version 2 binary so I'm going to select the sample v2.i64 and click open uh, error while I don't know what is this all about so maybe I have to I think it's all right uh... oh now it is working it is exporting IDBs packing the database exporting IDBs performing diff yeah uh, so uh, once the plugin uh, you know is is has finished uh, running you should you know see a couple of uh, new tabs right on IDA window uh, IDA user interface uh, the first one that you see is secondary unmatched uh, the primary unmatched statistics and matched function let's go uh, to each tabs one by one so the secondary unmatched tab should list down all the function uh, that were added in in version 2 of the program and the primary unmatched uh, tab should list down all the function uh, that were actually you know removed from uh, version one of that program in version two so since uh, we have not made uh, you know much changes in sample version 2.exe that is why you know this uh, i mean this uh, tabs are empty uh, so usually when you are uh, performing you know binary diff on a big application and a lot of changes has been made uh, in the you know secondary version you should see you know you should see some entries in these uh, tabs uh, so here you know i bindiff has you know list down some of the statistics uh, what is you know what basic blocks were changed and all these things and now we are interested in the tab which is you know match function so this match function tab should you know give you the list of all the identical functions and uh, the this columns are actually pretty important as you can see uh, this is similarity is one which which means that you know this two functions 
are actually exactly identical in uh, version 1 and version 2 uh, so if you scroll down you, you will notice that you know the confidence of uh, confidence actually reduces and sometimes uh, similarity also reduces so as you can see in the last function uh, the similarity is not exactly 1 it is actually 0.65 and confidence is also 0 0.95 uh, so which means maybe you know some modification was made in this particular function in version 2 uh, so what you can do here if you just right click and view flow do view flow graph uh, this should actually give you the side by side comparison of these two functions and you can just you know click on control and use your mouse uh, scroll button to you know zoom into this function and so let's uh, go to this function uh, right click double click and so this is your primary function as you can see this is simple uh, this is a for loop uh, uh, and we are actually printing hello there uh, this is actually a for loop now let's open our uh, secondary function secondary binary also in ida pro uh, to you know it will give you a better understanding of what is going on so if you go to that function in here as well it is one four triple zero one zero seven zero uh sub one four triple zero one triple zero one zero seven zero so this is the function so what you can see here uh, you should be able to see that the intention of that changes and it should so as you can see uh, in our primary IDB there was a simple for loop and in the secondary version of our uh, secondary version of the, our binary we have one extra basic block which is actually you know uh, one new check uh, actually there are two basic two new basic blocks one is this one mm, let's mark it in green yeah there are two new basic blocks here so this is a comparison so we are checking uh, whether uh, the value of evx is equals to 5 which is nothing but uh, this particular check if i equals to 5 and if i equals to 5 we are printing uh, printing i am done with my life uh, so yeah and as you can see here uh, this is actually uh, we are uh, we are actually printing I am done with my life and this is basically you know implementation of printf uh, so that actually this is how you would perform uh, you know binary diffing and it should give you some idea what all changes were made in you know uh, the newer version of any binary when you don't have any uh, don't have access to uh, the main source code so this is actually very uh, useful when you are actually you know find trying to find out one day vulnerabilities for example if uh, today microsoft or any other vendor is releasing any patch and you want to understand you know uh, what all uh, what all security issues were fixed and what was the you know type of vulnerability that were fixed this is how you can actually figure out you know uh, you know what was the type of vulnerability that was fixed and how the fix was added and eventually you can develop uh, the exploit also uh, from this uh, understanding from the understanding that you you know you had from binary diffing uh, so that's all i wanted to share in this video uh, so if you like the content please do subscribe to my channel uh, so i'll see you in the next video thank you bye bye